Hey guys, today I'm taking apart an MSI 15M laptop. You can use this disassembly guide to replace your hard drive or battery or anything in the internals in there. Uh, I believe you have access to the RAM. We'll see here in a second when I open it up. But the first part of this disassembly is you want to remove all the bottom screws. And there's about 12 bottom screws and they all need to be removed and then we'll take a pry tool around the edge of that bottom cover to remove it. And I use a thin guitar pick as my pry tool. I've, I've felt that and over the years with the different pry tools I've tried that the car, guitar pick is really nice because it's thin and you have a really thin layer in between that bottom cover and the chassis. So that thin guitar pick is a really good option for a pry tool. And once you get some leverage you can kind of start using your other hand to, to pry this thing up a little bit. And here I'm just going to take it through the top. I've got the bottom part of that bottom cover kind of coming up there unsnapped and then now you got to do the top of it. But never force it out, never rip on it and just pull. Um, you always want to just give it some light force, but it should come off nicely there. And the next step to take this thing apart is to remove the battery. I always like to remove the battery first, if depending on what you're going to do. Um, it's always good to make sure there's absolutely no power going to the computer when you try to take the rest of it apart. So taking apart the bat or taking off the battery rather is the best thing to do first. And this has a little cable connector and it just kind of, I just pull it free here with a finger. You don't want to wrench on those wires or pull really hard. You just want to make sure you get that thing off of there uh, by kind of pulling it gently. Uh, you never want to rip the wires out or anything obviously. So just gently kind of pull back on there. And if you want to, you can try to hold on to all the wires together too. Um, but it comes out relatively easily. And the next step here is to remove this SSD drive. This has got a single screw. You take that out and then that kind of slides out like a memory stick. So here you got, I believe there's two slots for this thing. You can add another drive or you can uh, upgrade the size of that existing SSD drive. That's that NVMe M2 style drive. And here I'm going to detach the touchpad and the keyboard and all the different cable connectors. So if you wanted to replace the touchpad or the keyboard, this is what you would disconnect first. And here I'm going to detach the speaker. And here I'm just pulling up uh, to get there's just a little bit of plastic over that LCD cable and these LCD cables and the touchpad and the keyboard they're kind of like a flip up flip down so here I'm taking that and I'm flipping that cable up as you can see the connector and then once that connector is flipped up you can flip it back down when you've removed the cable so flips up to unlock flips back down to lock and here I'm going to take off the wireless antenna leads I'm just taking that flathead and I'm just uh, going underneath the lead and just kind of gently pressing up uh, you don't want to bend those when you're taking them out or putting them back in so Make sure you're very gentle with those wireless antenna leads. And here's a single screw to remove that Wi-Fi card. And this thing was kind of a pain to get out. Um, I didn't want to, you know, push too hard on it or pull too hard on it. But it really, it's kind of like the NVMe drive or the SSD where it just should come out like a memory stick. And and here I'm just going to take like a pliers to try to get this thing out, but. You know, what I ended up finding out here is just kind of uh, taking your fingers, you'll see in a second, and just pushing on the back of the wireless card, there was enough to get it to come out. But this one was definitely a little tricky. Here was just wiggling it, and then that was enough to get it to come out. And here I'm just going to take some tweezers and just pick it up a little bit easier. It's a really tight space. And so here I'm just going to detach the backlight cable for the keyboard. And that's just a flip up, flip down style connector as well. And here I'm just looking underneath this static covering just to see um, if there's any screws here. But there's only two screws holding this motherboard into place. 
and one of them is through that fan and the other one you'll see in a second when I remove it but um, I was expecting much or many more motherboard screws but just a couple things holding this down all right so here's that first motherboard screw I was talking about and then over here on the other side next to the fan is the other motherboard screw So once those are out, the whole motherboard will come up here. And we've disconnected all the cables, gotten all the screws out, so now you can kind of gently pry up and get this motherboard out. And this thing is basically disassembled. I mean, when we disassemble it to the motherboard, that's pretty much the whole thing. And here's the power jack that's broken. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching.